What is happening people? Gav from Gav's Reptiles. Hope everybody's okay. Nice to see you lot again. Um, so, my channel is all about breeding reptiles, care of reptiles, looking after the reptiles. Uh, if that's something that interests you or you just want to follow me on my adventure, please consider liking and subscribing for me. Okay, so today, today is a good day. We've got another snake. We've got another ball python, um, and I'm just going to open them up and show them to the world, really, because I've been waiting on this snake um, for a couple of weeks, and it's arrived in the post today. He is going to be one of my main um, components to my breeding program. Um, so let's get him open up, and I'll explain a bit more about it. So packed in there pretty tight. Um, a lot of the time this is how they will come anyway, just in case anybody's never had a snake delivered. Um, they normally come by like a special sort of uh, courier. Um, they're normally pretty good and so today it looks like he is nicely wrapped up. Hopefully he's still nice and warm so want to get them out as quickly as we can, of course. If we can even get in there. <laughs> All right. So, you can see these little things. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. These little things here are like heat packs. Um, which are really, really important because you don't want the animal getting too cold. Um, you definitely don't want them getting too hot either, so it's a bit of an art to get this right. Um, but I know these guys dealt with them before and they're pretty decent. So I'm hoping in here somewhere, get rid of that, get rid of that, don't need this. Beautiful. And here we go. We have got our little baby. That's exactly why I got the scissors because I did this last time. They're pretty enthusiastic with the tape this company. <laughs> they normally are, uh, which is a good thing anyway, it stops the snake from getting out. Okay, we have beautiful. So, born in 2018, it's now obviously 2020, so he's going to be not too big, but he's going to be a, a cute size. I've been waiting for this guy for a little while. So he's gonna be probably a little bit miserable. And I don't blame him because yeah, he is cold, bless him. Oh, I don't I don't particularly like getting snakes like this. But how beautiful is he? Get rid of all this. That there is a beautiful two-year-old male bamboo. He weighs about seven, eight hundred grams. And he is just, he's, believe it or not, this is just a single gene. And it was only about five or six years ago that they actually um, discovered this. Obviously comes from West Africa. But um, he's pretty, he's pretty cold. But he is beautiful. So plans with this little beauty he is a powerful little breeder well they normally are the, the um the bamboos he the, a lot of the time they don't actually fade so this pattern normally with hatchlings when they first come out they're really really vibrant and bright and clear um and as they get older they kind of lose that a little bit but with the bamboos they don't really seem to do that these are really really decent snakes um, they're normally really, really good eaters. 
um, extremely good breeders. So I've actually got a, a pinstripe female who weighs close to about 3,000 grams now. And he's gonna be breeding with her, believe it or not, even though he's this size and she's massive, he's gonna be breeding with her um, and they are gonna make some really, really nice um, hatchlings. I'll put a picture up so you can see that uh, now. And it's amazing. Some of the babies that come from the pinstripe and the bamboo, it almost looks like it's got like, like the markings on them it's like it's got hieroglyphics almost, some of them, it's just amazing. Um, I'm also gonna be breeding him with two more females that I've got. And what I'm really, really aiming for, so I'm gonna breed him against a, um, a lesser. And I'm also gonna be breeding him against an empty mohawk. But now, the really, really interesting thing about this Snake and those guys as they are in the blue eye leucistic range. Meaning I've got a good chance between those three of producing a couple of blue eye leucistics and I'll get a picture up for you now. It is an all white snake Mwah. with blue eyes and they are really, really popular. Um, to be fair, you, you can charge a, a kind of a, a fair bit more for the blue eye leucistics as well. Uh, so I'm hoping to kind of, um, I'm hoping to get two or three. It's a, it's punchy trying to get two or three, but um, that's what I'm aiming for because I'm aiming to kind of just keep. What I want is I want one male because they're powerful breeders. Um, if you take the, if you take that blue eye leucistic, and let's just say that you paired it up against a normal female, okay, you will get no normals. You will get either all lesses or all bamboos. Now that is pretty cool, so um, I definitely want to keep one, but I'm hoping to sell a couple as well just to get a little bit of money back into my breeding program really because obviously it costs quite a lot getting set up. Um, you can definitely do it really, really cheaply though. So, But that is the unboxing of my beautiful male bamboo. And he is really, really cute. Um, I've got him a little um, tub set up now and what we'll do is we'll stick him in there. He's got a little hard little water bar. I'm actually going off to, um, I'm actually going off to the reptile shop um, tomorrow because I've got some, I've got some more racks that I've ordered that have arrived there, which is pretty cool. So. Hopefully you've enjoyed my video guys. Um, it'd be really nice to see some comments of what you think about him and my breeding program. Um, and also what other hatchlings are, that can come out from these guys because there is lots of possibilities as well. Um, I am thinking about maybe breeding him with my, um, I'm thinking about breeding him with my bumblebee because that would be pretty interesting as well. Um, because she's really, really big. So hopefully we can get some nice hatchlings out of that as well. But we'll see because I've got lots of other opportunities. So please like and subscribe, guys. Keep really, really keeps me going, spurs me on. Um, lovely to see you all. Have yourself a nice day.